Hello and welcome back to another Q Python Q&A. My name's Tom with Masquerade Online and I'm here to answer a question from Mana. How would I change the script to allow decimal point numbers to work? This has to, this is in reference to one of a tutorial we did um, over two years ago, March 16, 2015, the addition program at Python. It's a pretty simple program. I got it typed out right here so you guys can all see it. Basically all we do is say print, uh, welcome to our addition program. Uh, first numbers in it uh, and we ask input and we get a number same second number get an input um, and then we um, add the two numbers together to get our sum and we print back the sum to the user um, so that's a pretty simple program you notice that we use int in here so we're changing the strings that input gives to us because anytime input um, is used it returns a string so we're converting that string into integers and then giving it back so let's go ahead and take a look at this program and run or script I should say it's not really a program so a little script here and we're gonna do four plus two returns six all right cool now what happens if we use a floating point number which man is asking they ask if decimal which is a floating point number we'll do a 4.5 and we're gonna get an error it says invalid literal for int with base 10. Um, as you <laughs> write a lot of programs, you may see this often. Uh, I tend to see this one more than any other one, I believe. Anyway, <clears throat> 4.5, okay? Uh, that doesn't work because it's expecting um, uh, an integer type number which would not have the zero or the period and the five okay so that's why we're getting this error here and it can't convert a floating point string to an integer so with that being said let's go ahead and fix this uh, little addition program so it can hit, handle integers or floating point numbers when the user inputs either of the two so I'm just going to slide this down here and what we're going to do is we're going to keep this first line as is uh, the second line is going to stay the same except we're going to take out int here and take out this parentheses down here and we're going to take out the int on the second num variable as well take that out all right cool um now we're going to hit return because we're going to leave these two as well these two are not going to change right down here we're going to use an if statement and this the one thing uh you got to think about is what does an integer have or don't doesn't have that a floating point number has so if you think about it, it has a period or a decimal point or a uh, dot, all right? So it's if, and then in here we're going to say if it has a dot in it in the first num, all right? So if it has that, uh, we're going to do something. Oh, if the, um, I wasn't supposed to type the, there we go. If uh period or decimal point in the first number we're going to do something so we're going to say uh first num is equal to float this is how we convert a uh string to a floating point number so we'll say first num or we can convert a integer to a floating point number all right <clears throat> so if it has a dot in it if it looks something like this all right we're going to go ahead and run this first line if it looks something like that, we need to handle that as well. So we're going to use an else statement. So we'll do else, and then we'll do first num, and we'll do is uh, representing int first num. All right. And then we'll do the same thing for the second um, number. So we'll do second, oop, should I do if? dot in second num and then we'll do f second num is equal to float second num and then else second num is equal to int second num all right so now when our program runs it's going to check to see if there's a 
dot in the string that's being returned from the input statement. If it is, it's going to convert the string to a floating point number. If it doesn't contain a dot, it's going to do convert it to an integer. And the same thing down here, it's going to do the same. Then it's going to add those two numbers together. We can add floating point numbers and um, integers together. So we don't have to do any changes here. And we'll just return that. So let's give it a try and see if it works. Give us your first number. So we'll say 4.5. Second number, we'll say 4. 8.5. There we go. Mana, there's your answer. If you have any other questions, please let us know. We'll see you in the next tutorial.